we go to our text messages, uh, I would like to introduce my new friend from Psycho. Welcome. So, accident. it's not accident, we are, I'm on the bus going to Psycho to my wife. So, I met him, then I talked uh, talk to him about uh, some, uh, he talked to me about his computer. So, most, uh, mostly I meet some uh, friends because of my uh, gift. So he just came to see his computer, but it's not actually that we have a uh, service. So God has a purpose. So, okay. Let's just come, uh, Brother Henry. Brother Henry. So, so those who have the Bible, can you open uh, for me in Matthew chapter 2, verse 11? Coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother, Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and meal. Praise God. So, before we uh, go to the intermissions, so we can bow down and uh, praise God and pray for this meetings. Heavenly Father, thank you Jesus for this uh, morning of God that you have given us an opportunity to preach the gospel. Thank you Jesus for this place that you have uh, uh, given us, O oh God, for the first time we are here, O oh God. So we ask your presence, O oh God, to purify us with your Holy Spirit. Your blood, O oh God, cleanse us, O oh God, whatever we uh, do for the last uh, few days. Lord, uh, make us, a, a give us a humble heart, forgive our sins, O oh Lord, and I hope uh, we come here, O oh God, for our just one purpose, O oh God, to praise you, to, to glorify you, O oh God, uh, to, know you, uh, to know you more, and about, uh, <coughs> to give us the power to, uh, uh, power to heal, to power to preach your word throughout, uh, throughout the people here in Mong Kok, O oh God. Yeah. As we hear, O oh God, for this day, we ask uh, every, uh, every one of us, O oh Lord, give a heart of joy and peace Amen. and heal our hearts with our burdens and any trials, O oh God. Thank you, O oh Lord, uh, for our words that you have given uh, to us, O oh God. We ask your presence, O oh God. I come down before you, O Lord. I speak to them, O God, through me. In the name of Jesus, O Amen. Amen. So, this short text is, for us is uh, so very short, but uh, this one is a very big message for me, and I hope a very big message for you. So, I gave them the title, uh, Rest Restoring the anointing. Uh, God gave us uh, the strength, <coughs> the power, uh, mostly our spiritual life. <coughs> if you are in uh, God's presence, we have the power to reach the Holy Spirit. So, in this world, as a human, uh, ourself is comparing uh, if we are not a, uh, if you are <coughs> as a human a human being in this world we don't have any strength or we don't have any uh, power to move to walk or to go anywhere because we are blessed so we need food 
Amen? Amen. So, that's why we eat some food. Uh, we, do, uh, we take our uh, breakfast, we take our lunch, oh, and we take our uh, dinner. So, all the food we eat is, a, uh, is the things we need in our physical life. So, just as uh, our, uh, our physical body has a uh, Holy Spirit to be fit. So that's why we need to feed, uh, we need to feed them. We need to feed our spiritual, uh, our whole uh, spiritual life. So, God gave us uh, knowledge to know whereabouts. So, in the Bible, uh, as we read uh, in the chapter 11, he said, On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother, Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. This is talk about since uh, Jesus Christ was born. Then, there is uh, three kings. You know the three kings? Yeah. Presented their gift to Jesus when he is born. <coughs> the gift is uh, three kinds the gold, frankincense, and meat. So, our team is restoring the anointing. What do you mean, anointing? Anointing is, is the power of God, which gives you courage, strength, and ability. Where to put uh, the God's Holy Spirit or the Word of God is in you. So you can put your mind and you can meditate the anointing of the Holy Spirit. So if you have the anointing of the Holy Spirit, you can spread very well through the God of the Holy Spirit. You have the power to heal. You have the have, uh, power to preach and share the Word of God. And the time you have the anointing of the Holy Spirit, your ears are open, your mind are open to select what you want. For example, you are walking on the street, then you hear some something, something bad and something good. So, if you have the anointing of the Holy Spirit, you cannot be distracted by the bad. Uh, bad noise or bad spirit if you heard something. But if you heard the nice one, if you are with the anointing of the Holy Spirit, to be blessed. So <coughs> the gift to the whole, uh, the gift of Jesus from the three kings is gold the me uh, the frankincense and the meal. So we are going to uh, first go to the anointed road because we are our team is the restoring the anointing. Let us uh, go first to the Genesis chapter one verse twenty six. symbolize kingship. 
that we are uh, the kingship meaning you can rule anything if you are a king you can uh, you can talk to the to all of your uh, soldiers or like your as that even uh, because we are not uh, I'm, before I'm, I'm not experienced to be a king that's why <laughs> if you are a king, what the, uh, anything what you want, you can get it. And anything what uh, you want to the people, they can do it. So they have a symbolized kingship, the gold. So the one we read in Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 is <coughs> the God. Uh, created the universe. So, they rule on the, they rule on the universe with, uh, with uh, His Holy Spirit through commandments. So, He command to create our image to be His likeness. He, he rule over the he rule over this, uh, the universe to create the sea, to have a fish, and they put some fish, no need to use the seeds, just to say, we cre uh, let's uh, create trees and animals like that. So, all the creatures, all the creatures that move along the ground is created by God, so, because He has the rule to be uh, like a king of the universe. So, the, the anointed of the Holy Spirit is starts from the beginning of the universe. When God created us to be a human, God created all these things in the universe. So, If we go to the anointed to intercede, is the frankincense symbolize priesthood. So we can go to the Hebrews chapter two verse seventeen. Priesthood. Priesthood. P R I E S T. Priest, priest food or the priesthood? Priesthood, okay. <laughs> I'm getting hungry. So, we get the Hebrews chapter 2, verse 17. For this reason, he had to be made like his brothers and sisters in every way, in order that he might become a merciful and faithful high priest in service to God, and that he might make atonement for the sins of the people. Praise God. Anointed to the intercede is the meaning of frankincense symbolized as priesthood, not priesthood. <laughs> What do you mean priesthood? Highest priest. Priesthood is very similar to the king, kingship. kingship. Yeah. So. If you are a king, or if you are a servant of God, you have a merciful and faithful heart. Then, Let us follow to the Hebrews chapter 4, verse 15. Therefore, since we have a great high priest who has ascended into heaven, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold firmly to the faith we profess. So, 
Jesus Christ is the one who has the honor to be the priesthood. He has the merciful and faithful servant. He come to earth to serve us, give, give his life, died on the cross, just uh, just to protect our spiritual relation, uh, relationship to Him. Because God's, uh, God created us not to be uh, unworthy. God created us to be uh, worthy to Him. Amen. So, He come to earth again to manifest the Holy Spirit to us. It's because most of the people in the universe are lost. Most of the people is they didn't know where uh, where they going. Like uh, this day Sunday, most of the people the heart is finding some happiness, but they didn't know what kind of happiness they want. As a as a Christian, before I'm not a Christian, if I'm going out, I'm just, uh, I want to find my friends. Like before, I'm in Taiwan, I'm a single. I'm a Christian already, but before, uh, in my first year in Taiwan, I didn't have a church. So I go with my friends anywhere, find some, I meet some friends. Then they go somewhere, take some happenings. But I realize that I'm empty because I'm a Christian, so I want to find the church. So I met uh, one young lady, his sister. Then he, he uh, she asked me to. Uh, go to the, uh, their church and the church is also like this uh, pioneering church so I help them then that's why I grown in that church as uh, leaders also I grown as a servant of God so I've been experiencing so many troubles in my faith then I, fu I fulfill my destiny as a Christian in Taiwan for three years so I come back to Philippines with a strong faith. Then I get married with my wife. So <clears throat> the anointing of the Holy Spirit always flown me, always come to me. Then I ask my wife, I want to come to Hong Kong also. So suddenly uh, we're, in Hong, we're in Hong Kong, so we the trials also because of husband and wife in Hong Kong is not uh, easy. So I find some church also, I go to church, but I experience very bad experience, very big trial for me. Then I ask God for help. Then suddenly <clears throat> I thought it's my fault uh, about my Christian life because I experience very bad as a man. I have uh, faith in God, then suddenly lost with my faith. So, with the help of my wife and the prayers of our sisters and other friends, Christian friends, so God lift me up. Amen. Then He broke me again. God uh, gave me another strength, gave me another power, gave me another. Uh, wisdom. Because if you are a Christian, then you can uh, lose your faith. You go back to the uh, worldly life. What's that? I mean, uh, yeah, backslide there. So, if you backslide, your spirit will be miserable. If you are, the time you are a Christian, you, you have too bad spirit, 
If you go to backslide, multiple, multiple visa. <laughs> so many. Even the bad spirit in the other country may become to you. Yeah. So that's why uh, <clears throat> I pray to God and I fast him so that uh, God give me again the wisdom because I lost uh, my wisdom to so, uh, wisdom in prayer. I lost my anointing with him, so I asked so many times to be uh, to be back in him. So this is my second time to spread uh, preach the gospel. So I hope this is not uh, the last time. No, no, next next week, ten o'clock. So I'll be in the Philippines first. Oh, you're gonna be in the Philippines next week. Oh, okay. With the uh, interceding and with the uh, anointing of the Holy Spirit, with the uh, anointed role of the kingship of God, you, your life becomes holy. Your life becomes good and better. Because the Holy Bible says, if you are in God's word, in God's presence, you have the anointing of the Holy Spirit. So, can okay, we read in the Hebrews 7, chapter 7, verse 26? Such a high priest meets our need, one who is holy, blameless, pure, set apart from sinners, exalted above the heavens. So that it is. If you are uh, truly meets our need, who is holy, Blame this pure sit apart from the sinners. So, we need to sit apart. Sit apart from the sinners. But, how can you spread the gospel if you being apart from the sinners? Sit apart from the sinners. The meaning here is to sit apart to the sin that are going to do with the sinners. If the sinner, if the unbeliever doing the uh, to be a sinners, for example, they are going out, making some, uh, going to the disco pub and make some drink. So you have to be aware of that, because if you only one going to the uh, going inside of that place, you have uh, you are fighting thousand thousand of bad spirits. So if you are not very strong in Christ, but if you don't have the anointing of the Holy Spirit, maybe you'll be uh, you're in danger. So you have to sit apart uh, to the seniors. So we come now to Hebrews chapter 9, verse 7. the high priest entered the inner room and that only once a year and never without blood which he opened for himself and for the sins of the people had committed and ignorance. Uh, that is here the priesthood during the time of uh, tabernacle of Christ on the Old Testament. That only the priesthood that uh, entered in the inner room to manifest the uh, by manifestation of the Holy Spirit and uh, this is the story about the uh, tabernacle of Christ in the Old Testament, when the priest is going inside the tabernacle, then making some prayers, making uh, asking some anointing of God, and <coughs> he asks some manifestation of the Holy Spirit before he is going to preach like that, and people, uh, 
he's mm -hmm. going to be in front of uh, so many people to say something about God. So he must be uh, full with the Holy Spirit and anointing. So we are now going to the anointed to heal. And the, uh, restoring the anointing about the uh, gift of Jesus Christ from the kings, uh, from the three kings, the mir. It symbolizes death. It also symbolizes healing. It is used to embalm the dead to delay the decaying process. That's the meaning of the mir. So, can we go to the Second Corinthians, chapter five, verse seven? Second Corinthians, chapter two, uh, chapter five, verse seven. Second Corinthians, five, chapter five, verse seven. We live by faith, not by sight. Say it again. We live by faith, not by sight. Okay. Okay. We live five seven five seventeen. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has come. The old has come, and the new has come. Five seventeen. First, Second Corinthians five seventeen. Second Corinthians five seventeen. Okay. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone. The new is here. Amen. So, the verse symbolizes the death. Symbolizes the death of Jesus Christ. That are come, uh, come to the earth, uh, come to the earth to save us with the, with the blood of Jesus Christ. We are healed with the blood of Jesus Christ. We are uh, raised up from the sinners. So it means the death of ourselves, as uh, our uh, for our spiritual life. We confess our sins. If we can face our any kind of uh, uh, unforgiveness, uh, what's that? Uh, our sins will be for uh, unforgiveness sins. So uh, that means we have to uh, the, uh, the death of ourselves is uh, the meaning of. Uh, what Christ, uh, we receive Christ through the gospel and we believe in Jesus Christ. So that's why we receive Christ. Uh, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old has gone, the new is here. So, if you are a uh, you believer, if you receive Jesus Christ, you are a new creation. That's why we said you are born again. We are newborn in Christ, not born in uh, born in the flesh. So in John chapter twelve, verse twenty-four. So maybe you uh, just close to the finish line. John chapter 12, verse 10. I tell you, he would on this earth, it falls to the ground and dies, it remains only a single seed. But it, if it dies, it produces many seeds. Okay. Just very truly, I tell you, unless a kernel of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains only a single seed. follow God's rule and God's anointing in our family we're just only one as a Christian but if the, uh, 
the word of God plant in our hearts and spread it. Uh, you have to, uh, you have to follow uh, Jesus Christ. You have to read the Bible. You have, uh, you ask God the anointing of the Holy Spirit. You ask the power. Uh, you ask God the power to heal, so you can spread these things to your family, to your friends. Just one seed in your heart can make and, and plant to other people uh, to make it grow more than one seed. So, in your family, maybe you're the only one to be a Christian, so you'll be praying for them and asking God for the help of God. Maybe you go home to the Philippines, then soon your family also will become a Christian. So, like me before, my family become uh, Christians. Start from my mother, then my father, then that's me. Because at that time, I'm uh, 17, uh, 17 years old. I have so many friends, and they say, Oh, born again. <laughs> then they laughing. So I'm shy. Then I don't know what heart is I have before then. I didn't read the Bible. I didn't know the Bible. So God gave me strength. God, God gave me a, a dream. Because the time I watched the movie The Rapture. So <laughs> I've been so blessed. I've been, uh, I've been dreamed so many times, maybe 10 times, I go more than 10 times, that I'm the only one remaining in the earth. So the Christian will be, the family will be in heaven. So, we do, uh, we do, uh, I, uh, I'm scared at that time. That, that's why I, I received Christ, just for, uh, scared of myself but uh, after time after the time I realized that I didn't even know I uh, scared to that uh, rapture because only Christ is the one who lift you up and save you from this world so forget all the sins remain in him follow God's road as his anointing and Go to the other, uh, uh, go to church and share some uh, God's word, read the Bible, and if you have the old Bible, just read it, maybe twice a day like that. So, the power of the Holy Spirit and the anointing of God, uh, anointing of God will be yours uh, every day, every night, every time in your life. So, that is the short message uh, today. So I hope you're blessed and let us pray. Thank you, Jesus. Praise your name, Holy God. Jesus Christ, Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise your name, God. So thank you, God, for this day, o Lord. And receive your blessings. Yes. As your word, you give us, O oh God, the power to feed our souls, O oh God. Yeah. Receive our anointing, yes. receive our gift, O oh God, yeah. the gold, yeah. the incense, yeah. and the meal. I hope, God, that we uh, meditate this word, O oh Lord, not only from here, as long as we go, uh, we go to our uh, go home, O oh Lord. We go to our uh, employer's uh, house, or guest. Every time we will uh, meditate the word of God, just uh, to remember, O Lord, that you you'll be uh, you'll be coming soon, O Lord, and again you'll be back uh, to, uh, to fulfill what you have. Uh, said to us, O Lord, yes, that yes. soon you will come back and to yes. uh, you will be picked us up and you raise us up. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for this message, O Lord, that uh, we received this morning, O Lord. Yes. I hope
because this is the only one seed that comes to our hearts yes, God, and spread to other people. Yes, make it uh, just one word yes, and make Lord. it more words yes, Lord, yes, that yes, can yes. express with our hearts, O oh Lord, not only in our friends, in our families, mm -hmm. our neighbors, yes, oh God, yes, God. throughout uh, this place, O oh Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for your Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. Guide us, O oh Lord. Thank you for your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.